All right, starting back here, we have lace. Well, bottom one's lace. This one is kind of like polka dots, but they're both ribbons, so I can stipple on top and get some cool designs when I'm doing some gerbs. This right here, I have two of these bags. I got these in gratis, and they're benefit bags, obviously, benefit. The Hello Flawless, it's really cute. And the one back here is full of stuff that I don't really use a lot. So I kind of just shoved it in this bag and put it all back there. I like, I like barely ever look at this because it's like tutorials on how to do it, which I um, do not need. <laughs> I'll probably like, yeah, you know what? This is going to go right in there. These right here are oatmeal boxes full of samples and like this is a nail polish, the Lee nail polish mini set. That's for you guys. That's for a contest later. Um, and it's full of stuff that I don't really use like, oh, spirit gum and spirit gum remover is in there. Um, makeup remover from Lancome, which is kind of, eh, it's all right. So that's full of stuff that I don't really use. Now, going over here, tissue. Obviously, you always need tissues. This bag is full of skincare and primers. So we have the Bosha Facial Tonic. My moisturizer, which is the Bliss Oxygen. My day moisturizer. My day serum and a bunch of primers cover effects which I absolutely adore um cargo love cargo so that's full of primers and skincare this right here is lipsticks and pencils which will soon be filled so we have a bunch of MAC these two rows are MAC MAC, Make Forever, Bare Essentials, and this is just the Corez Lip Scrub, which is great to have around there. This is just my favorite perfume, but it's discontinued, the Escada Taj Sunset. Then we have lip pencils right here. These true, yeah, these true, yeah, that makes sense. These two are the Anastasia Brow Pens. That red sticker right there with that Sephora flame on it means gratis. As you can see, it says gratis right on it. And gratis, anything you see with that sticker on it, I got for free from work. Um, these are all right here liquid eyeliners. We have Urban Decay and three Kat Von D and a Lorac. Here we have black and brown and colored eyeliners, and that's that. Next, going over to the other side, um, this right here is going to be a prize. This is going to be with that stuff right there. It's the MAC bag that I do a little sneak peek of it. You see it's silver, it's got the pink ball on it. I'm not the biggest fan of pink, even though I love those. But that goes to you guys. Um, my business cards in there. This right here is a bag I got at Walmart. And I keep my big palettes in here. My BF Beauty palettes. My... Coastal Scents palettes. I got two of the 88s. Those, I'm gonna make a video of palettes separately so you can see all of my palettes. That's just a handful of things for my freelance kit. That's, I'm not gonna shit bother with that. Um, this is kind of like the setup that I got going on right here. This is usually eye brushes, this is usually face brushes, but they're all dirty so I'm going to clean them first. And then we have like tools right here, this right here, Q-tips obviously as you can see. This is the Josie Marin Argon Balm and Sense Eyes from Make It Forever. This back here 
covering all the rest of the palettes is my Coastal Scents palette. And it's the Blush and Contouring palette. These are extremely large. And I was going to go and get a new blush, but then I was like, oh, cool, I found this. I completely forgot that I even had this. And I also completely forgot that I had this palette right here. Hello, Coastal Scents blushes. There is a crap ton of you guys there. So that's a Coastal Scents palette from way back in the day. Um, so I don't have to buy blushes anymore. I have some MAC palettes right here. None of them are full. I wish they were, that'd be awesome. Um, Urban Decay, this one's full. Urban Decay, that's upside down. Urban Decay, Urban, Urban, Urban. Too Faced, Chanel, which my friend Jen from work gave me. Urban Decay, this is Lancome, as you can see by the rose, NYX. And down here, now this is temporary. This is not my real makeup setup. This is until that room gets painted. So I don't, it, it just never seems to happen. I wanted to come back like so long ago. But I was like, you know what? This is good enough. I need to make a video because I miss YouTube. Okay, so cover effects, loose powder with concealer on top. This is my Smashbox BB cream. I believe it's like light. I don't think it's fair. Um, then back here is aqua, a sample of Aqua Black and Max Blue Brown pigment. My number one and number two erase piece. This is Copper Class Accent Red and Rule pigments from MAC. Number 115 and 118 from Make a Forever. This is kind of like in the winter time for me and this is in the summer if I get tan. In the summertime if I don't really get tan but I'm still obviously getting more sun I kind of mix the two these are the infamous Muji drawers which dear lord I love these things they're so fantastic so the first drawer is complexion and face basically we have some Mac blushes right here butter a sample of the uh, Josie Marin tinted moisturizer which I really like this right here is the sample of number five full cover concealer by Makeup Forever. Cargo concealers right here, both of them. I, the only one I don't have is the HD, which I really want. Zim, uh, the Zinfandel blush from Spell. Another Chanel blush. Um, I mean, another Chanel blush. Another Chanel compact, and it's a blush. Coralista. This is my favorite foundation. Oh my god, I, I put this on top of this just to set it because you can put it on as sheer or as opaque as you want it. This is the only bronzer I will probably ever use. It's the Baked Bronzer by Urban Decay. Then moving down. Ta-da! How beautiful. I love this drawer. This, you can see how beat up milk is. I actually had to put tape around it. And then... I recently broke the black bean cover too, but those are like used like unbelievably so much. Bare Essentials. Um, I didn't have a place for this one. This is the Prism blush. I got this one in grass too. It doesn't have a sticker on it though, but I figure FTC, I should just tell you. It's a silver. This one is Moon Glow. It's super pretty though. I really like that one. Um... This one is MAC, all MAC, quads. I, I want to order another one of these drawers, like these Muji drawers, so I can start a collection of their quads, because I love the quads that come in the collections, but I don't have any room for them, so I just haven't been buying them. Um, these, though, I really, really like. Um, like this one right here. It's that pretty green There we go. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love these. Mac, I love Mac. I really do. Um, ah, BB cream fell. Glamour Doll Eyes. 
three Urban Decay shadows, the old school ones and the newer reformulated ones. Two Lorac trios. Spell Cosmetics. Spell Cosmetics. I have a lot of spell because I basically have every single shadow in their collection <laughs> from being sponsored a couple years back. Um, Elf. Elf actually has some really good eyeshadows, so I would definitely, and they're way bigger than any of the other eyeshadows that I've seen. This is Earth. Earthy? Earthy. Moving down is mascara and brows. This is the Lorac Take a Brow. This is what I use religiously now. I used to use this one, Max Brun, which is an eyeshadow, but then... Um, my manager, Jaren, was like, you need to use this. So I bought it and I fell in love with it. I absolutely adore this. Um, let's see. Oh, these are not mascaras. These are brow gels. They're clear brow gels. So just in case you're wondering, like, what the hell a mascara is that? It's not a mascara. Um, my top favorites, I would definitely have to say, would be the Full Exposure from Smashbox. Buxom, obviously, and I really like the bad gal. Buxom! I have a sick obsession with Buxom. I love it. They're my favorite lip products, and I am so excited that the... Yeah, this one is, like, worn out. There's no more Buxom on it. Um, I'm so excited for the new six-hour plumping ones, but there's the, a couple lipsticks. I When I get another Muji drawer... I will have like probably like three of just buxom. It's gonna be sad. Um, right here is extra lip glosses, some dazzle glasses, make forever, bare essentials, Burt's Bees. I love Burt's Bees. This stuff is really good. I had got, had an allergic reaction to the um, the hell is it called? Oh my god! I'll put the name of it like over here somewhere but I had an allergic reaction to an eye cream and I put this on and it got rid of it in like a couple days it was awesome this is for like it's like a lip balm a, you can put it on your cuticles your elbows scratches burns anything it's freaking amazing you can get it for Sephora for like only a couple bucks like less than 10 bucks I think um Murad I love Do I love Dr. Murad he's fantastic this is great for the summertime with the SPF 15 and some glamour glosses. Yeah, that's it for now. If I can close this. So this is basically it's not all of my makeup, but there's like some things floating around the house that I can't find at the moment. Like I've been looking for my lip liner in Thistle from Bare Essentials for days now and I just can't seem to find it. And I'm pretty sure there's other shit floating around somewhere. So that's the video. Um, that's This is the temporary makeup setup. My mirror that one of my lovely subbies gave me. And I love that thing. It's still not dead. It's freaking amazing. So yeah. I miss you guys. I hope this holds you over. But yep. As soon as I get back, a contest is coming. And if you actually go to my Facebook page... Uh, you can search for um, makeup artist Shayna A. Krajinski. Just look for that and take the poll to see which video you want to see first. Okay? Bye.